Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So this is something that I haven't done in quite a long time. This is a channel update video. I feel like it has been weeks, maybe like two months or maybe it's just been one month. It feels like time has been going faster than it actually has. Ever since I started like, well not started, but like when I'm doing like YouTube every single day, I feel like time goes faster than it actually has. Um, you know, it would be like three days have passed and I would feel like three weeks have passed or something like that. Like to me, it just feels like three weeks has passed when only three days has passed. Um, but I guess this is um, just me sharing a little bit about my life and also about um, what I'm planning to do with the channel and also what I'm planning to do with just my time and everything because I mean, this channel is just me playing Monster Super League and uploading uh, Monster Super League content, basically. At least for now. I used to make some like other games, and this this channel update video was kind of more relevant because I would talk about like, oh, I'm gonna try playing this, I'm gonna try playing that um, on on my channel, and it was kind of a way for me to connect with you guys, at least the people that care enough to to watch these videos. Um, they often don't get that many views. I mean, you know, obviously the Monster Super League videos would get a lot more views. Um, this is just me basically talking about my life and stuff. And yeah, I'm as a as a warning, I'm going to tell you guys that there might be a lot of, I don't know, stutters, pauses or whatever in this video. I'm basically just winging it. I'm trying to just um it's just it's just a talk basically. It's just me talking to a camera and and uh, the camera filming me and then it becoming a video and then me po posting on YouTube for, for you guys to watch. Um, but yeah, I wanted to use this opportunity to kind of just talk with you guys. And I, I always feel really passionate um, whenever I feel like I learned some deep philo philosophical lesson um, and I, I want to like share it with people. But I mean, I'm still relatively young. I haven't experienced that many things in life. Although I, like, there are some things that I have experienced before that maybe other people haven't. So, I mean, there there are some things that I am knowledgeable in. Um, so the topic I wanted to talk to you guys about is, I don't want to sound too cliche, but um, what I wanted to talk about is just me kind of finding my purpose in life. Um... Now, that that term is actually really vague. It's it's not really well defined, like a you know, a person's purpose in life. Um, basically, I think for me, um, I don't believe that anything has like by itself has value. I believe that we as individuals give give everything around us value, um, and and that's how how we like define our purpose really like what we value like if you if you have a passion for something then you would go for that if you if you think that life is about um you know making people happy or something like that then you would try to i don't know do charity or something i i i can't give good examples but like or maybe you think life is all about um being as rich as possible then maybe you, you would put your all your energy and um, all your effort into making as much money as possible. Um, so for me, I was just basically trying to figure out, um, you know, what would, what would be something that I would um, just greatly value. What I, what would be something that, um, you know, that I would want to do. That I would want to basically put my life into, um, into doing, and. You know, there's actually a lot of things. I don't think I necessarily have to like be like, oh, I'm gonna be a musician or something, I, and then I can only do music. It's it's not that simple. It's about, um, you know, maybe you want to like do a certain thing. You want to be a musician to make some songs that like people can listen to and can know, and then you can be popular or something like that. But then you might have another goal somewhere else that you wanna you want to achieve as well. And I think for me, it's kind of like that. I have all these, um, I have basically like a checklist, a checklist of things I want to do before I die. 
and um I don't actually, on the top of my head, I don't remember everything, but like, I think some of the more important ones are, um, I want to, I want to like, um, draw my own manga and keep it as like an ongoing series, like at least for, for a few years, you know, to make it, um, like a story or a, or like, you know, to build this universe or, I don't know if it can get, get as big as a franchise or something like that, that, um, <laughs> like, you know, I, uh, I could be doing that and, and making, making like this, you know, keeping the story up and, and creating this manga and then, um, like being able to do the art for it and then, you know, continue, continue doing this for, um, for, for at least a few years until the the manga ends, and then I'll be content. Basically, like I don't have to produce a second work or anything like that. I, I would be content with uh, me creating this piece, and then and then just just like you know, and then that piece just being there. Like I think there's there's I mean, like it's like any piece of art. Like if you make a painting um you basically you paint it and then that painting is just there you know it's 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 valuable if you if you think it's valuable and um i think for for something like a manga the value would come from the the, the people that like the fans that would actually um enjoy it or something like that um and then the another thing is i want to create or like um develop my own game like an actual um, video game. Um, originally, when I came up with the with this 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 goal, it was like for like an MMO or something like that because like WoW was really big at the time, and I I wanted to create something like that um, and eventually just make like the the like the next big thing or something like that. But I think for now, it doesn't even have to be an MMO. It can be anything. Um, we'll see. We'll see what type of genre um, is like you know comes to existence in the future, or maybe this game will be like the leader of this, of the this genre or something like that. Um, but it's always something I wanted to do. I wanted to, to um, create a game or just like develop a game and basically bring that vision into into reality. Now. The thing I wanted to talk about is, um, I think, I think for many of my goals, it really just has to do with, it has to do with art, really. Like I think it, a lot of it really is art. Like I just wanted to, want to create these, these pieces. Like they, they're not, they're not paintings. They're not sculptures. They're not, um, it's not, it's not like a music or something like that, um, but. I want to create these things and want them to be like these pieces that I, I create, like these artistic pieces that I create. Like to me, I think, I think, um, like when I think of doing that, it, it just feels like it's like I'm, a, I'm an artist creating something. Um, now the thing with, the thing with being an artist is obviously if you have all these visions, like if you, you can have all the best visions in the world, um, and if you don't have the ability to bring those visions into a form that people um, can either appreciate, like basically a form that people can appreciate, then that vision has really no no value in this world. Like it only has value to me because I'm the only one that, that sees that vision. But then nobody else is able to see it because I need to have the skills in order to bring that, that vision into a into a presentable way that people can experience um so what i what i decided on is i i want to start um start practicing some skills like some some skills that i never took the time to learn when i was young and i feel like i'm old now i'm only 24 but uh i feel like i've I've gotten really, really old. Like there, are, these are some of the things I should have been learning while I was in my teens. But I feel like I kind of wasted those years. Um, it's partially, it's it's my, it's it is mostly my fault. Like I, I was too into video games. Um, 
you know, a lot of video games are, are super, super addicting. You know, you guys play games as well. Um, it gets, it really does get out of hand, hand sometimes, and it gets in the way of you actually being able to, um, like, achieve something. Um, now, I'm not, I'm not one of those people that think like, oh, like, you know, um, you have to, like, cut out, like, I don't see things as black or white. I don't see, like, video games as all, all harmful. Like, obviously, they can, they, they provide a lot of entertainment to people. Um, but at the same time, you, you really, like, in, in reality, you can't have the cake and eat it too. You can't spend all this time just having fun and playing games and still wanting to achieve these goals in the future. Like, it's just not possible for, um, because you need to use that time to develop certain skills in order to be able to, to, you know, do whatever you want to do. Um, so yeah, I, recently I started, I started drawing again. It's drawing was something that, like, I think for, for me to, like, you know, like, for me to create a manga or maybe, um, Maybe if I'm designing a video game, if I want to design characters and stuff like that, then I would need to be able to have certain artistic skills in, in presentation. Um, then I need to be able to know how to draw. And drawing is something I've always enjoyed doing ever since I was a kid. Um, now, I think I've only really been seriously drawing when I was in like elementary school. And then ever since I, I got older, um, I've just been drawing less and less until it got to the point where I, I don't even do it at all anymore. I don't remember how to do it at all. I used to be able to, like, sketch. All right, I like to, I like to sketch like dinosaurs and dragons and stuff, and they usually actually do look pretty nice. Um, but I, you know, I I basically let those those that that passion. I wouldn't say it's a skill because it's just a little kid playing with a piece of pen and paper but I, I let that passion kind of kind of go to waste um, throughout the years because I've been too distracted with just basically just playing video games like I've been playing video games pretty damn hard and I don't, I don't want to label video games as something bad but um, you know it does take time anything that you do takes time you can you have to everyone has the same amount of time and you have to choose what you invested in so for me, I chose to basically invest my time in just having fun and playing video games. And yeah, that, that was to the detriment of me, um, like me achieving these, these goals, these, th this checklist of things I want to do in the future, um, before I die. And, you know, I, right now I think I'm, what I want to do is I want to start, um, you know, I think I've already started taking, taking a few steps to achieving these, these things, these goals that I want to do in the future. Um, and I think a really good place to, to start is just with me drawing because drawing is something that I think will, will be needed, like is a skill that will be needed in, in the future of what a lot of things that I'm going to be doing. Um, because a lot of the things I'm doing is probably just like artistic design, um, basically. And, you know, I actually was, uh, was looking at a lot of, um, a lot of artists doing like digital, digital art, um, today. And I just thought to myself, like, I, I think when I initially saw a lot of them do it, um, the whole process of them painting through it out, it just looked inhuman, basically. It just looked like it was, they just created something out of thin air. And uh, there was a, there was an artist I was looking at, um, it was called, I don't know how to say the name, it was like, it was uh, just W, in all, in all caps, W-L-O-P. Um, and he, he or she, I don't, I don't really know because they just basically put their whole speed painting process on Photoshop on, on YouTube. And you can, I'll have a link below, um, to his or her channel. And, um, you know, every single time I, I see, I see, I'm just going to say he, but just like, you know, if, if it's a she, then whatever, like it's, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what gender they are. 
um, because they they never talk. They just they just uh, put speed painting pictures on uh, speed painting processes on YouTube. But basically, um, what he does is a lot of times he would just like you know just sketch something really rough and then all of a sudden just add some colors and then all of a just like it would suddenly take shape and then you would be amazed and be like oh how is this how is this possible but then I'll, I'll have his link below to his channel so you can check out some of his um, speed painting processes and stuff like that and when I when I saw it when I first saw him do anything like that I was like holy shit this is impossible like I will never ever get to this point and um, you know I I I was actually in the middle of uh, of looking at like how to how to draw and stuff um, I, I think I've already started taking the first few steps in in like in realizing these these goals because I think a few months back I out of out of my boredom really I bought a really really cheap Wacom tablet um, like the cheapest one you can get and I started doing some digital art I started drawing basically um, I think the first thing I drew was like this picture of Chloe from Summoner's War and uh, I didn't I don't know I just kind of did it for fun because she was like my favorite uh, favorite unit in the game and I I just drew that and then it was like kind of just the first picture I I, I drew um, and then I can't remember what I drew in between but I might have drawn something else as well and I I started like you know the, the little avatar I used to use on my channel um, before I switched to the new one the the old avatar was just like an, another thing like an avatar I kind of designed to represent my channel and stuff like that and that, was, that was something simple that I drew like it was my first time learning how to draw like chibi art um, and then I, I drew that as well and then um, I when I decided to start a second YouTube channel I would wanted to create a live 2D model, like a like a moving model um, that I can control with face rig, and I needed to draw another model basically out of scratch. So I needed to, needed to draw it. I needed to draw all the expressions and make that model move. I can actually show you guys that that model on live 2D should be should be uh it should definitely be around here. All right. As I said before, this video does have some a lot of like just random me random randomly doing stuff, and that that auto battle has just been stuck there for the longest time because I I've just been talking this whole entire time. But um, I guess I guess I'll just show my monitor. Like this is literally what my monitor is looking like right now. But I basically drew this model, something I I, I was using for um for 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 live 2D, and I had to draw like a diff a few different angles and um and facial expressions and stuff, and then basically make it so that she can move and move her eyes, and move her uh yeah move her head her body a little bit, and then um you know, move her mouth like like this, like you can open and close. Um, and then, you know, it can be like a frowning face and stuff like that. And then like a smiley face. Um, and then it was, it was just something that I was, like I, I didn't really know how to draw, but then I, I um, you know, I, I basically like, I had to go through every single line because I didn't know how to do line art properly and then I just like traced it and then I used like an eraser to like basically slowly erase the line so it took me like like hours and hours and hours to to make like just this very very simple um, simple lines and stuff that, that, that are, that's needed to to make this model and I didn't really know how to do it but then I because of I don't know I guess I was just really <laughs> I, I I really enjoyed doing doing stuff like that that I um, that I actually was you know was was able to stick with it and stuff like that and yeah it was just it was just really really fun like something I I really really enjoyed um, and I think the other thing that like kind of 
made it so I made this video is like the, you know, th there was a there was a contest for um, called Design Your Your Own Astromon. Um, it was on Facebook, and then the winner can get like sweet 1,000 Astro Gems. Um, and I like when I saw the event, I just immediately knew I wanted to participate because it was like a good chance for me to to draw something. And I always like. Um, you know, whenever I play like those mobile games, I like to think of myself designing a champion or something for the game. Or when I when I back in the day when I played Summoners War, I've actually had the thought of like you know designing designing my own monster. And obviously for Monster Super League, I've I've thought of that as well. So um, I thought it was a really really fun chance for me to try to make something, not even just. Um, because it, it basically fit two things. Like I, I I told you guys that I liked I wanted to like do do manga and also wanted to like design video games. So I basically I, I worked really hard to create a concept for a character and I tried to fit that concept as as closely as possible to um, the way Monster Super League does everything. Because like I imagined myself as if I was someone working in the company. Um, and me designing the actual monster, then I would have to follow certain trends. And um, I actually had a video below basically describing everything um, about the monster I designed. Like, I, I basically used that video as like an introduction for the monster that I designed and, and talked a little bit about her. Um, you know, from like the inspiration, all, all those things, like, you know, I, I basically follow a lot of trends, like, you know, all the Nat 5s in the game are based off of like some heroes, gods or something like that. And then I had to follow that exact same trend and then pick out a certain, um, certain something from Legend in order to fit that trend. So I, like, I think a lot of it was like, um, half of it was like the, the game, you know, the, the game developer design concept of it. And then the other half was like the artistic half of it. Like I, I had to, um, practice drawing again. Um, I, I don't think I have the picture out. If you guys want to see it, you, you can take a look at it, um, in the, in the link below in the, in the video that I, I made, um, introducing that monster. And, um, yeah, basically the other thing that, that kind of, uh, got me to to make this video is like the results were out and I was actually when I when I made it I actually worked really really hard um I I, I wanted to like I wanted to even just like win the whole thing but not for the purpose of like just winning it to get the astro gems I wanted to create something so good that like maybe the people that see it will be like hey maybe we should like maybe this might be something that um that could fit into the game that can really fit into the game so i tried really hard i i made the story i made all the colors um like artistically i i i did as did my best because i'm not um i'm not really all that skilled at, at drawing and stuff so um i had to i had to do what i can basically i, I tried my very very best um, artistically to to draw something but then from the other perspective from a game design per perspective I I designed like all the icons I designed the um, the skills for every single element I also gave them like stat distribution based on on my understanding of nat 5 monsters in the game obviously I've been playing a long time been reviewing monsters for a long time so I, I do know a little bit about that and also um, I wrote like a story similar to the way that you would see them in the Astro Guide, like the Astro Guide stories that you would see for monsters. And I think I did a pretty good job writing the stories, but like, I don't think anyone noticed that because I didn't really show the stories in the video. So you guys can definitely check that out as well. But uh, yeah, I was, I, I guess I was, um, I am, I am pretty, pretty proud of what I made. Like, I, I do think that I, you know, obviously I wouldn't be showing it off if I wasn't proud of what I made. Um, but it's it's pretty like it's it's uh it was pretty fun it was definitely really really fun and i think although i didn't win it was a really really good way for me to kind of uh give me that little nudge i needed to push me forward a little bit closer to to working harder at at achieving these goals these things i want to do in the future and 
I still don't know. I still don't know if I can still, if I can draw um, as as good as uh, I think. I think he's just called Wallop. I'm just gonna call call him Wallop, but it's all caps W L O P. Um, he's like my goal, basically. Like I, I look at him drawing and painting, and I'm I'm like, all right, I need to like this is what I need to do in the future. It just looks amazing, like everything that that he does, and I I basically just set him as my <laughs> as my goal post, but I. I still don't know if I can even one day um, be able to to do it that well because it, it doesn't just take practice; it also takes some talent as well. But then, then again, I don't believe too much in talent. I really think that if you're passionate enough about something, then you can definitely make it work one way or another. Um, so yeah, that's that's just that's just something I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I think in the future I'll I'll definitely do do some practice like just for fun maybe since i'm making a monster super league channel i can make some fan art for monster super league and on certain monsters and stuff and try try to um yeah try to try to make some stuff either like i can use use the stuff i draw as like channel art and stuff for for my youtube channel um you know that that new icon that i'm using is actually the evo 3 version of my monster the dark version um the one I'm using for my my channel, like the the actual avatar that I'm using, um, yeah, I, I think it would definitely be pretty nice because I can just use that as a as my actual um, like channel banner and stuff instead of other th things that other people drew, um, and yeah, it's gonna it's gonna help me, um, you know practicing these things is going to help me achieve what I want to do in the future. So hopefully, hopefully, uh, I think this, this video, hopefully it, it inspired someone to maybe try doing, um, what they want to do, you know, today, because I guess all our times are limit. All, all our time is limited. Basically, I mean, if I started, if I started, if I kept on practicing how to do this, then I would definitely be a much, much better artist and much, much better. Like, if I practiced how to do art, if I practiced how to do like writing and stuff, I would be able to, um, you know, create a better story. I would be able to, you know, make better art. Um, but I, I think my greatest regret is not not keeping keeping up. With, with the things that um, might be a little bit harder, but you would still enjoy, you know, but rather than the things that are like just pure enjoyment. I think video games definitely like that. Like video game is just pure enjoyment. Um, and I think the other aspect is I didn't really think that I could, I could uh, like make doing art and stuff like my oh I just got two dragon sigils like my my career or my my job or anything like that but I think now that I'm a little bit older I've actually learned that um you know if you're if you're willing you can sacrifice certain things in life to you know live a simpler simpler lifestyle and then you would have the time to pursue the things that you really want to pursue and I don't know if I can really <laughs> even uh even achieve those things because they're i think they're pretty grand like being able to um run this like run like a successful like manga or something like it doesn't even have to be a real manga it can just be like a web comic or something like that but you know being able to just update that every single week and then and then f at least for those few years that well while the thing is going um you know, making my full-time job so I can have all the time in the world to pour pour everything that I like my whole entire being into it and just make it the best possible like masterpiece that I can create and um, you know and then one day I'll be old and I'll be content I'll be like I, I ticked off all these things in my checklist you know I can die happy now um, but yeah that is that is pretty much it that's just something I just wanted to share with you guys um, and, you know, I, I hope that, I hope that, um, Monster Super League has more contests like these in the future. Maybe next time it'll just be, like, fan art or something like that. And then, and then maybe by next time I'll be a much, much better artist than I am right now. So, 
yeah, so uh, I'm going to keep trying. And I think after really thinking about it um, for a long time and, and uh, making this video and talking to you guys, I, I definitely do feel like i a lot more confident that I can maybe one day become as good as um, Wallop or something. But anyways, you can you can check his check his uh, channel out. I'll, I'll link it below. He, he's just like like the person the the YouTuber that that inspired me to to uh, to better myself. And then if you want to check the video out of the monster I designed for the Mo design a monster contest, although it didn't win in any of the placings, I'm still very very proud of it. Um, so you guys can can definitely check that out as well. But anyways, um, I'm gonna end the video here. It was really, really nice to be able to talk to you guys again, just like on a, a lot more personal level. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.